So the, the public house is mostly just benches and uh, people drinking and talking to one another, and half of it is outside, uncovered. But anyway, you, you get to talking, and there are rumors everywhere. People are talking about a quarter of the island where your where your necklace turns a different color, and there are freed murderers walking around. Apparently, doing battle in this area of the island gets you massive favor rewards, and it's incredibly dangerous. But you you think through and you think about problems that they're having, and you, you think about the motivations that these guys have, and you, you talk it over over some drinks, and you think that you're going to get more, you're going to end up getting more favor for things that help make the island habitable than just going out and killing goblins in the woods. So you, you hear some rumors about a well being poisoned. Ah, nice. And you, you don't know who would poison the well or why, but you you manage to track it down, and someone you you both end up having um, both Tavith and Malagir. Um, run to somebody they know over the course of the next several hours. Um, Malagir, there's a there's a gentleman wearing an ill-fitting suit of livery who you recognize as a bounty hunter. You've mm -hmm. done a few moderately savory deals with. Um, and he describes uh, escorting a bunch of prisoners uh, pardoned by the Duke into the nor northeast side of the island where they're, where they're kept under penalty of death. Um, and basically given free reign to act on any contestants that enter their uh, area. But he um, he talks about the poisoned well, and he says that it's been a, a big pain, but they, they think they figured out who did it. And um, he, he owes you one. Are you, uh, he owes you one from way back. Mm -hmm. um, basically, a bunch of guys were going to uh, take the money and run on a deal, and they went to cut you in on it, and instead you and him kind of flipped it on him. So, um, because you, you went to him because you were like, screw these guys, they're trying to screw us on this. Um, so he, he owes you one, so, so he lets you know that one of the, uh, one of the investigators for the Duke found, found where the guys that poisoned the well were, mm -hmm. and just decided to, um, to keep it quiet to see if any contestants could figure it out. Does he tell me where that is? He, um, he, he, he gives <laughs> some basic explanation, but, um, the guy doesn't really know that much about how to about finding your way in the wilderness, which is where the the entertainment at the at the uh, tavern, who mm -hmm. you um who Malagir recognizes as having a uh, a pin on that announces them as a as a harper, um who's acting covertly, um as a as a they're a liar. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't want to get sued. <laughs> um, as a lyrist. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, they're they're a liar because. Yeah. That's a really yeah. good pun. Yeah, <laughs> it, is, it is a good pun. I love so it. As, a, as, as a liar who's acting covertly, they're um, using the two streams of information. You guys are able to get to that corner of the um, of the island fairly quickly. Um, and so I'm assuming you guys set out when you have a solid lead on some guys. Um, you said Tapeth met somebody too, right? Yeah, that, that's. I'm sorry. That, that's what I was describing. Um, a an old bounty hunter that Tabith had. Oh, so Tabith uh, met oh. the bounty hunter. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, oh, and sorry, I know the Harper right. person. That's fine. Yeah, absolutely. It's fine. A liar. A liar, Anna. A liar. Oh, oh, yeah, a liar. Yeah, liar. Yeah, yeah, liar. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know how. I don't know how. Um, how aggressively half remembered kingdoms pursues their intellectual property. So. <laughs> 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 that was a slow burn one. That was good. Was it? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, we're good. Right, so, so, lost can I monarchies. Fix the well? What's that? Can I like brew something up to neutralize the poison, or at least begin that process? Um, you kind of have accidentally already done that. Oh. Since you um, you guys imported a water filtration device. Oh yeah, that's totally uh -oh. my plan. I was under the impression that the the tavern was now using that as its original intended purpose of a still. I apparently also gave that hint without thinking, so I'm gonna say he brought he he he, he brought a full still in addition to that. Um, or or, or they're, they're splitting time. <laughs> I was just for... assuming that we were gonna have to commandeer it from the tavern. Okay. Um, well, but I like but not. It's not. Theory. It's not really enough water for that many people. But um, it's definitely taken the uh, taken the edge off because mostly it was an inconvenience for everybody that had to walk across the um, town. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, makes sense. You guys take a brief uh, 
thought about provisioning yourself for a trip through the wilderness, at which point you realize that you're already provisioned for a trip through the wilderness. So for the first time in your lives, you guys are, well not for the first time in your lives, but it's kind of a, of a momentous occasion, because there are four of you, and you're about to walk into the woods. Oof. So there's a, there's like a sharp delineation, there's the, there's a, a fence attempting to be constructed around this place and it's kind of half done. But you, you you see the same look on a lot of people's faces that you saw at the departures area, where a bunch of people literally walked to where you're standing, looked out into the woods, and realized they were about to take their first step past civilization, and they couldn't do it, um, and they just kind of stopped where they were and looked out at the trees. <clears throat> so uh, well, I got fancy. Who wants to be the first one to step forward? Is is Fancy coming with us? Uh, yeah, yeah, Fancy carries a lot of my things, so yes. I'm that good. Yes. If, if that if that if that's all right. That's fine. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we're talking about you, darling, and I bet that you. That, that's fine with everyone else, right? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have assumed. Uh, it's, uh, yes. Is, is that all right? I don't have any issue with it. I mean, no, I fine. would be terribly distraught if the mule were to be harmed, but otherwise... Oh. Well, it's, it's working on animals is sort of the same as working on people, right? Not even a, a little tiny bit, but I can figure it out. All right. They have different things on the inside, you see. I mean... And in different places. Yeah, I guess. We, so we should probably head out then. Yes. So, luckily you guys have pretty good directions from, uh, from the Lyrest who, who, who Malagir knew. Um, it, there are spots on the island where, um, if, if you guys want to roll nature, that will affect, uh, travel times, which I'm kind of tracking. Oh, good. Yes. Um, but mostly Let it's just one time. I'm good at it. I don't think nature is actually the right skill, but I don't care. Uh, survival uh, well, is actually other options the right are... skill. Survival is the right skill, but nobody n nobody is proficient in that. So, in <laughs> instead, roll wisdom nature, and we'll, we'll we'll call it a higher DC. Then I won't tell you. Uh, nature is a an int check. Hmm. So as as you guys travel through, um, luckily you guys have some really good directions. This is the wrong kind of outside for me. It it is very much <laughs> the wrong kind of outside for most of you. You you manage to follow those directions, and luckily there are landmarks. Um, as you walk through the woods, there are sort of half-buried, um, almost concrete roadways you run into at various points. Um, that, but it takes you probably about the fourth one you've seen before you recognize that they're artificial because they just like rock formations. The first couple times you walked through them. Huh. Um, and, and also, you would, uh, throw a throw history checks while I'm talking still. So. Ooh. I went to college. Um. Eh. So, at a at a DC ten, these are very old artificial um, roadways. At a at a fifteen, these are um, these are obviously a, um, what is it? These are op this is obviously an ancient Roman road. And yes, I'm just using Rome, by the way. I'm not making up a no. I'm not making up a name. They're, they're just Romans. Um, <laughs> it's it's just Rome. <laughs> Fuck you. It's just Rome. Fuck you. Yes. Well, Rome. Rome. Rome isn't copyrighted. Yeah, man. Spent, Rome is public domain. All right. It is. Yeah. Rome is very public domain. It, I spent about four that. hours trying to figure out a name for fantasy Rome, and I decided, fuck it, it's Rome. Yeah. The uh, the, the realms consigned to oblivion do not own uh do not own Rome. Absolutely. Um. So, at a DC 15, this is fairly obviously an ancient Roman road, which is, is, is kind of fantastic. The Romans were the most wildly successful kingdom in history. Um, their, their infrastructure itself was effective at holding back the tides of the miasma. Um, it's said that on a Roman road, you could travel um, a mile for every step you took, and, and monsters would never dare to cross them. Um, it's said that Roman aqueducts would deliver clean water um, a thousand miles, and that it would be cold or hot, depending on what you wanted when you dipped your bucket into the well. Lovely. 
there, wonder, there are a thousand legends about Rome. And I then if you still have any of that. Uh, you, you appear to be walking on rocks. Um, you, 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 you occasionally you trot across a, a, a step or two where it feels like the ground rises up to meet you. There's a half decent chance that's an overactive imagination on your part. But you're, you're really not sure. Um, Dylan, what's your um? What is your modifier for that, by the way? I want to know how high of a die roll you got for a uh, different. Plus four, so it's a sixteen okay. on the die. Okay. Um, I don't have a mechanic for critting on skill checks. So as as you guys travel onward, the um the the ruined bits of road appear to be more common as you get further away from the town. So you guys are traveling through the woods. It's kind of a strange experience for most of you. the The woods aren't like here aren't like forests near towns. Um, they are. Angry is the wrong word, but they they press around you. A, a well-maintained forest has lanes and and shooting grounds for hunting game, and the the bushes are beat back so that you can um, you can copse the trees and move lumber around. This is nothing like that. Though. You you can hear the wind whistle through, and it's it. It, it appears to be whispering the secrets of your movement to people that are following you. Mm. Um, there, there's, there's no one behind you, and none of you have any reason to believe you're being followed, and you're pretty certain you aren't, because why would anyone even be following you? And then ahead, you get somewhat lucky, um, because you happen to approach a group of people who grouped around a fire far away, and luckily, the elves in the party can see something very distinctive, because the bounty hunter that Tabith uh, was talking to had noted that all the murderers that were let loose on the northeast end of the island had been marked with an arcane brand on the left side of their faces, and all of these men have that, and you are nowhere near the northeast end of the island. Interesting. Oh my. I think there's some of those murderers we heard about. I, I think we should say hello, not because I feel like being friendly, but because I feel like it will throw them off. Um, I think they'll think we're, we're dumb. Whatever what? you all think is best, I suppose. Good day, gentles. Um, you are about um, 140 yards off. Never mind, I shall walk a bit more. <laughs> And then greet them about 40 yards Good off. day, gentlemen! Oh. Um, okay. All right. Just in all caps. <laughs> so, um... I want to get about within one round's movement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that's going to be fairly difficult. Um, I mean, if they're going to bolt when I approach, that's also fine. That gives me plenty of information also. So, as you, you, you guys... Um, how are you guys approaching? Um, I'm just walking up to them. Uh, I, I'm assuming I'm in the front um, because I'm a meat shield. If you want, what do you do with the mule? Oh, um, uh, I'm definitely between them and the mule, 100. percent I'm I'm going to uh, tie the mule to a tree. Okay. Um, the mule off. Set. Is Fancy going to be our damsel in distress? I feel like Fancy is going to be our damsel in distress, and so, I'm all right with that. <laughs> um. The um. Okay. The mule decides to be quiet. I don't know why I rolled that as Anna. Um. <laughs> I'm not really sure either. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm still. I didn't realize I could actually roll stuff as you guys. So, <laughs> the mule, luckily, the mule decides to be quiet. H- how are you guys approaching? Like, what, what manner are you taking? Um, we set a, a marking, a marching order with Revelation in front, I guess. Mm-hmm. I'm. I'm. I'm unless anyone else wants to take point. I'm not. I'm not married to that idea. I just. Feel I'm like completely it's... fine with Revelation and possibly the, the mercenary man being uh, slightly farther ahead than. Myself, or <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good with Stop being uh, neck like next to Revelation of Outs. I feel like that would be probably pretty good. Walking forward together. Okay, so um, as, as as you guys get closer up there, um, let me know if you guys stop at any point. So as, as you guys get closer, you realize the terrain is like a gully. Um, it you're kind of in a sort of halfway between two hills, and there is dense brush on the right and left of you, and there's sort of a, a currently dry gully, looks like a, a rainwater flush, that is going down between these four men, where they appear to be camped out, 
there is a... Instantly, you are currently going uphill towards them, but the grade's not really that significant. There are these uh, sacks that appear half empty um, next to them. As you approach, do you guys say anything, or are you just walking straight up? Once I get within, um, like, not bellowing distance, I'm gonna just greet them like we're we're definitely not aware that they might be murderers. Okay. Um, definitely not. That's that. Okay, definitely not aware. So you guys can get within fairly easy earshot, and um, they they still haven't noticed you. They they all appear to be fussing with something. As Christine bellows out, they kind of all all jerk up. You um, their immediate reaction is to grab about for short knives and such they have around them. Oh, oh no! Stay your hands. And then they um, and then one of them who uh, looks a bit braver in the uh, towards the back uh, yells out to them. What, what do y'all want here? Why don't y'all mind y'all's own business? Oh, you're just walking through. I'm sure you're aware of the plethora of people here on this uh, this island now. Yeah, well, we 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 found our own setup. All right, we, we got a den we're working. Why don't y'all go on and um and, and, and mind y'all's own? And he, he kind of he's, he, he's uncomfortable around you. You can tell um for for some reason, and the wind shifts, and you smell this horrible fetid smell from over next to them. Oh. Um. <coughs> oh, goodness. <clears throat> is someone sick? What is that? Nope. Listen, no, nobody's sick, so Dr. Christoph, this has a uh, somewhat distinctive smell. It's a specific, it's a, it's a fungus that infects people's gastrointestinal tract and causes them to have horrible bloody diarrhea. Um, but it's not mixed with shit and oh dear. At that point you realize that these, um, these sacks are kind of just, um, full of these, they're, they're kind of full of horrible spores and it looks like they're, they're wax cloth and the seal has been broken on them. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Um, someone most certainly is ill, or might be, particularly if you continue to uh, make your camp next to those collections of horrid fungal matter that you have there. I said y'all mind y'all's own business, now get! Uh, I would have you know, sir, that I am a medical doctor sworn to uphold the health of the common good, and it is most certainly my business if you are in danger from some natural or unnatural malady. So t t two of the men um, standing closer towards you guys are, um, are are whispering to one another. Can we make perception trolls to hear what they're um, saying? I, I suppose you could, if if you were the sort to do that sort of thing. Well, god damn it! <laughs> you want to you want to take that negative there, Christine? Oh, um, you want to take that critical failure? Uh, I think I think I might. I think I might take that crit if uh, if Jeremy's offering it. I'll take the the crit fail. Um, I can't. I, I can't really think of anything. That's all right. It doesn't have to be every time. I, I don't want to reach. That's all right. I can uh, reach if you want me to reach. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Can reach again. Okay. There, um, one of them's kind of kneeling. There's a. Hold on. Oh. So there's a. Um, there's a weird. You're, you guys are kind of lucky the wind's blowing your way. I mean, you're unlucky because this one's got off. But um, you're kind of lucky the wind's blowing your way because Christoph and Malagir can just faintly hear a clunking noise. We were listening for whispers, but what you heard was Christoph, your um your mind is brought immediately to the crossbow of your belt. Um, what? What 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 I what I meant to say there, and I said it too flowerily, is um that is the sound of a crossbow wench being drawn back. I see. Uh, oh. gentlemen, uh, uh, aggressive activity would be extremely unwise in this particular juncture, I assure you. Please. I really, really wouldn't advise it. I just casually, like, shift out the battle axe. They kind of, so they kind of look around, and um, they, they kind of look at each other, and they get, they get this strange, resigned look on their faces. And then the cloak comes up, and a gentleman levels a crossbow at you. And we'll find and out what happens after that next time. Next time! I'm I don't do get... bits. Shot with <laughs> next time. <laughs> Where?